Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is for you. Right now for me, it's a beautiful sunny day, and beautiful sunny days call for video games. So, for those of you who are Tales fans, which I assume is a lot of people who, the people who are following me tend to be Tales fans, because that's what I like. There is a somewhat new, it's been out for, I don't know, a week or two weeks by now, whenever this video goes up, who knows. Uh, it's been out for a little while, and it's a smartphone game called Tales of Link. Now, smartphone games don't always go to get a good rap, but some are really good. And this is not like an amazing game, but it's pretty good. Um, it's not a super in-depth game, but it's a, it's a good smartphone game. Ideally, I want my smartphone games to be easy to learn, uh, fast, and fun. I would say Tales of Link almost nails the three of those points, but mm, it's not perfect. Uh, for me, like my, my perfect smartphone game is Neko Atsume, which is a very easy game to pick up on. It's free. Even when I was playing it in Japanese with my limited understanding of Japanese, I mean, granted, I've been learning for a year, so I, I could figure some of the words out, but like, it's just like Neko Atsume is designed so well that you don't even need to speak Japanese to play the Japanese version, even though now there is an English version out. But Tales of Link was a Japanese only smartphone game for a while. Now it is out in the rest of the world and it's been localized. So I'm playing the English version on my Android device. It is also on iOS. Like I like I said, the game is not it's not the easiest game to pick up on. Like I, at first glance it's quite simple. Like as far as like the actual playing the game goes, it's pretty easy to pick up on. However, the men there's like so many menus and there's there's just a lot of like gunk that I think wasn't organized well into the game and it's like not important. Like there's a gear system, there's a leveling up system for the characters. You can fuse gear, you can evolve gear. And I'm gonna get all into this in a minute with a demonstration. But uh it's trying to do too many things at once. So, um with that little mini review done, let's get into the game. Alright. Welcome to Tales of Link. This is the main page. Now I'm gonna go into events, and as you'll see, it sometimes takes a while to load up the next thing. Come on. Here we go. So when I was initially recording this, there was an event called Soul Arena happening, and there are different events. They're all um, limited for a specific amount of time. So, we're gonna go into Rita's because she's the one I chose, because I love her. So, I'm gonna pick normal. It's going to be five rounds long, and it's gonna take ten stamina thingies from me. When you go in to start a match, you get to choose a friend to help you out. So, I'm gonna be looking at these different characters that my friend has, and they look pretty strong. So I think I want them to help me out. See, this person has Luke as their uh, number one in their party, and that means their Luke gets to help me out in battle specifically, where I get to use Luke's special ability. This screen sometimes takes a while as well. Okay, so there are a lot of things happening on this screen. But you'll notice of my nine characters that I get to work with, they each have uh, a specific shape under them. So it's circles, squares, triangles, stars, and you don't see this right now, but there are also hearts. And hearts are the only ones that heal you. All the others are for attacking. So we're going to select a monster. And to attack, you want to do a little matching game. So I'm going to do these two stars right now, because this enemy is kind of weak. So you'll notice that the two characters that replaced my two stars were two squares, because that was what was in the lineup, which you can see in the top left corner. 
See, now I got my other square. Now coming up next are the two hearts and a circle. To deal the most damage, you want to line up characters of the same shape. And I have a ton of squares, so I'm going to do that now. And you see there's a multiplier for each one, so it gets stronger and stronger. Now, certain special abilities, like Ludgers, allow you to change characters into different shapes. So I got a whole bunch of squares. And it does just a ton of damage. And I'm sorry that the audio got a little out of sync. I think that was a problem with my phone running slow. So that's just a really quick basic idea of how to battle in Tales of Link. That was for an event, but you'll mostly be doing stuff in quests, which will look like uh, this screen. But let's go back to our main screen and let's look through the menus that I complained about earlier. So this is our party stuff. It's very long. There's also gear. And there's a shop, but you buy stuff with your real money, so I would recommend not doing that. Summoning is how you get, uh, you do rolls for new characters. And then lastly, there's the friend menu. This menu is pretty self-explanatory. You can view your friends list. You can also search for friends by inputting their ID. This is also where you find your ID to give to friends. Let's take a quick look at the party menu. So firstly, you can arrange your party in your gear. You can have multiple parties. You'll choose which one you want to battle with for that fight. You can also set up your guardians, which I will get into in a little bit. So at first glance, there's an overwhelming amount of information on this screen, and you can get even more. But once you're more familiar with the game, I definitely recommend taking a closer look at what each of your characters do. So for arranging your party, you can have up to nine. You want to pay close attention to who's your top three because they're going to be the ones you can use for their special abilities. And your party leader is also has their own uh, special ability. So you can also look at characters more closely. Now let's go back and take a closer look at the guardians, which you can get from the summon screen. Your guardians are guardians. They're really just uh, support supporting members. You can have one on attack, one on defense, and one on support. You cannot have multiple on attack, multiple on defense, or multiple on support. And in general, they do something with an element such as um, giving you more defense against water or something like that. So let's go back again and look at training heroes. Training heroes is just leveling up your heroes. You're going to be amassing a lot of LP, which you can then spend on characters to level them up and make them much stronger. So pretty obvious the plus adds a level, the minus takes away a level that you uh, put in. So now Philia went up one level and she is a little bit stronger. You can also select gear for each character individually here. Another way of doing that is in the arrange party gear area see there's a gear up so then you it just saves time you can select gear for a whole bunch of people if you have too many heroes you can release them and get lp in exchange for that there's also items you can use to increase the stats for characters i don't have any here because i use them all there are a few other things in the party menu 
that I'm not going to get into, but just to note, Limit Break lets you raise the level cap on your characters, so take a look at it. Let's look at our gear now, and you will be getting a lot of it, more than you know what to do with, which you can then use in the Fuse gear, where you essentially take a bunch of pieces of gear, throw them at one piece of gear to make that one piece stronger. There isn't really a tutorial in the game that I could find that explained the best techniques for fusing gear, so I'd recommend just looking at items, fusing things together, see what happens. You're gonna get so much gear anyway that if you make some mistakes, it doesn't really matter. Like, I have more gear than I know what to do with right now. But I will go on the record and say that I think this gear fusion stuff is needlessly complicated and could have been totally unneeded in the game had they designed it differently. I do wish Tales of Link, for the non-battle things, just had less less stuff. There are way too many menus, the gear stuff is, like, out of control. And you can see this sometimes in other, like, mainstay Tales games, like the fusion system in Tales of Zestiria was also out of control. But we're just gonna pick something to show you that it helps level up my piece of armor. And you do want to do this to strengthen your weapons and your armor so that you do better in battles. There's some other gear stuff, like evolving gear. I don't have anything to evolve right now. It's a little easier to understand than fusion gear because it tells you which items you need. The summon area is where you get to spend tickets, hero stones, or hero points. Definitely check out hero points because that's how you get guardians, which I completely missed for like the first day I played this game. The most exciting part is of course the hero stones where you can get your Tails characters to fight with you. There are usually a few different events going on where you can get specific ones, but definitely check out the beginner summon because it will give you one five star character, which you definitely want because they're generally way stronger. It takes five hero stones to do one summon, but in general I recommend saving up your hero stones and then just doing a bunch of rolls all at once. And when you first start the game, definitely check out the beginner summon. It's a huge help. So that's it for the demonstration. I hope it was helpful. I was a little, con I was like slightly confused when I started Tales of Lake. I was like, why are there so many things to do? What? Why is this important? What is happening? And I'm honestly like still sort of figuring out the little minute complexities of the game. But I think this is this is a good enough explanation for how to start the game, get the basics. Or if you just started and you don't quite understand how to play it, hopefully this helped you out. Hope you enjoy Tales of Link, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.